Today I'll be showing you how to make one of these water rocket nozzles uh, and it's called a 9mm Gardena nozzle. You can buy these garden hose adapters from your local um, hardware store. The problem is, is that the thread is different from a standard bottle so you can't put it on. So essentially what we have to do is replace the thread from a regular cap and turn it into one of these. Um, so the first thing you do is you take out the seal that comes with it and what I like to use is just a piece of uh, rubber to hold it in place in the vise and you grip it. And then you basically cut the thread off with a hacksaw. Now as you cut, make sure you don't damage the inner edge. So just do a pretty rough cut. Next thing we do is we attach it vertically in the vise and we file it down until it's flat. File it down until it's completely flat and then we have to trim the outside so it's about the right size. So we'll put it back in the vise. Now you can either do this manually if you don't have a lathe or a drill and just slowly work your way around the outside, filing it down. Continue to file around the outside until it just fits inside the cap. Um, if you don't want to do this by hand, um, you can get a bolt. This is just an M8 bolt and I've wrapped enough tape so that the nozzle fits in quite tight, snugly. Put a washer over the end. Screw it all together. So all we're going to do is tighten it so it's nice and tight. Um, you then put it inside a drill press. Action. And you can just file it down by hand. This makes it a little faster and even. Now what you need to do is stop occasionally and just make sure take it off and make sure that it uh, you don't make it too small inside the lid. So we basically file it all the way down until it just fits inside the lid. So it's nice and snug and it doesn't move around when it's at the bottom. The next thing you want to do is get some uh, sandpaper. Now this one's 800 grit and really smooth down that face of the nozzle to make it really smooth so that when you put the seal up against it it will seal well uh, without any leaks. So the next thing we have to do is prepare the lid uh, and we're essentially going to make a hole in here for the nozzle to fit in. You start off by removing the seal from the inside and then we'll drill the hole. So what, what we do is, uh, I normally start by drilling little holes somewhere near the middle to drill out a bigger hole. And it's quite easy to do. Next I just pull out the middle. So now we have a hole big enough to start filing out. Okay. Next, just grip the cap lightly in the vise and using a round file start increasing the size of that hole and it's quite easy to work with just keep getting bigger keep making it bigger turn it as you need to so as you make the hole bigger you can switch to 
a half round file, which will make the sides a bit smoother, and then just work your way around. And then as the hole gets bigger, just occasionally check to see if the hole's big enough for the nozzle to fit through. If not, continue to work increasing the size of the hole. Eventually the hole will be big enough where the nozzle just fits inside and it's nice and snug and doesn't move. Uh, next we take the seal that we removed and we need to cut a hole in it and we can just do that with a Stanley knife. Now there's an outer ring and an inner ring so just cut along the inner ring and take your time doing this. And your seal is now ready. Take your nozzle, place the seal inside the nozzle, and your nozzle's ready for your rocket. Now, one of the problems is, is a lot of people are reporting is that they can't get these types of lids anymore, the ones with the removable seal. Um, a lot of manufacturers now make lids um, with out of a single piece and they have an internal flange that does the sealing and these aren't as easy to convert into nozzles as the ones with the removable seal. The alternative is to go down to your local supermarket and look for cleaning products and especially these kinds of pump backs um, for hand lotions and that sort of thing. Um, luckily the thread is much longer and not interrupted. There's already a hole in the top of it and the thread matches standard bottles. Just have a look around those plenty and you may already find one in your home. So essentially what we have to do now is remove the lid from the pump. Uh, there's no really easy way of doing that. So you can just grip the pump in the vise and use brute force and cut it just next to the lid in that direction. and you can remove your lid with already a pre-drilled hole. Normally you'll find that the hole inside the lid is not big enough for the nozzle to snugly fit in. So all you have to do is just get your half round file and enlarge the hole until you get a snug fit. So here's one I prepared earlier, clean the hole out and it's now big enough for the nozzle to fit through. And for the internal seal, you can just remove the one from the uh, Gardena attachment and use that inside your nozzle. And that should then screw on to the bottle and your nozzle's complete.